Good morning. This is your daily outlook for Tuesday, February the 7th. The euro appeared weaker against its major counterparts as no breakthrough had been made on the Greek debt deal front. German Chancellor Merkel and French President Sarkozy expressed their disappointment on the progress of the private sector involvement and austerity measure talks. The private sector is negotiating the haircut level decided on the 26th of October. At the same time, IMS Troika is demanding another package of austerity measures. Versus the US dollar, the single currency dropped to 131.17 from 131.24, having ranged between 131.41 and 130.27. Against the Swiss franc, the euro traded in a narrow band, opening at 120.66 and closing at 120.63. Market participants already look forward to Friday's inflation figures for the Swiss economy, as in deflationary pressures have been cited by the nation's central bank as the catalyst to raise the 120 floor on the euro Swiss. Interim Governor of the Swiss National Bank, Jordan, is due to participate at the Swiss American Chamber of Commerce at 10.45 GMT. The US dollar recorded minute gains on a day that the US financial calendar was lacklustre. Investors are expected to closely monitor the testimony of the Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke on the economic outlook and federal budget situation before the Senate Budget Committee at 1500 GMT. The Australian dollar was soft versus the US dollar overnight, but the decision by the Reserve Bank of Australia to leave its lending rate untouched this morning sent the pair to a six-month high at 10809. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices fall to $97.15 a barrel from $97.33. Gold dropped to $1,720.03 from $1,730.54 an ounce against the US dollar. Versus the euro, gold moved down to $1,310.10 from $1,313.29. Silver opened and closed at $33.63 an ounce. Now let's take a look at the currencies this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 131.70 with a preference to enter in short positions at 131.70. The dollar yen pivot points at 76.45 with a preference to enter into long positions at 76.45. The Aussie dollar pivot points is at 106.80 with a preference to enter into long positions at 106.80. The sterling dollar pivot points at 158.30 with a preference to enter into short positions at 158.30. And the dollar cap pivot points at 0.9985 with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9985. Looking at commodities, the oil pivot point is at 96.45 with a preference to enter into long positions at 96.45. The gold pivot point is at 1738 with a pre preference to enter into short positions at 1738. And the silver pivot point is at 3405 with a preference to enter into short positions at 3405. And of course, for up to date information, please visit us at easy forex.com. On the calendar, the market movers are the Royal Bank of Australia decision, which was out unchanged at 4.25%, which sent the Aussie to a six-month high, and German industrial output month-on-month -month forecast to drop by 0.3%. Not into equities, which were all negative. In Europe, the FTSE was down 0.15%, the DAX was down 0.03%, and the CAC was down 0.66%. In the US, the SP500 was down 0.04%, and the Dow was down 0.13%. In Asia, at the time of writing, the Nikkei was down 0.13%, and the Hang Seng was down 0.23%. It's been your daily outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click Join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.